and a body that would shame Madonna's and a face that would make it even proud. Oh, what wow! He's the so greatest that I've ever seen. Oh, what wow! Yeah, oh, we oh, what, wow. we can start. Oh, and he's the time and I think it's like right after lunch, right? So there's these people in the city time during my show. He wears the finest clothes, the best designers, and nice sunny. So you never yeah. know. You never know. Yeah, exactly. So it's just going to be a cozy session. Uh, I suppose everyone here is familiar with butter. No, Give me a thumbs up with the react button. Oh, okay, okay. Aurelius, what about you? Shall I give? Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm not familiar. I think I just got introduced. Was oh, the so music from from butter, or was that playing on its own? I was not sure. So the the music is is added uh, in butter. So okay. we uh, we can add any any music playlist that we want here within the the app. If you take a look uh, on the menu to your left side of the screen, you have um, the settings for your microphone and your video camera. Mm -hmm. And then you also have a react button there with some emojis that uh, you can use throughout the session, <laughs> just like Anna Maria is demonstrating right now. And then if you have a comment or a question, use the Q button to let us know that you uh, you have something to say. Uh, otherwise, feel free to use the chat uh, throughout the session to, to express your thoughts and interact with us. Okay. I also want to mention that we're recording this session. So unless you're, from, uh, you're comfortable with that, feel free to use uh, a fun avatar um, instead of, of having your camera on. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let me introduce our amazing host today, uh, Srini. Srini um, is from India and he is now living uh, in the Netherlands. Um, he also um, lives there and loves his family, which consists of two boys and a partner. He has had a lot of jobs in his life and has learned very late in his life what he loves to do. Uh, he's a servant leader right now and he works as a scrum master in a large IT company. Uh, and he mentioned he loves working with teams who are solving complex problems. So this is and this is really nice to know. And he also loves to talk and make connections. He is full of stories, ideas, energy, and uh, sometimes he's also scared to open himself up to something new or to someone new. But I hope, Srini, you'll find that this is a very safe space for you to express yourself. And uh, yeah, the floor is yours. Show us how to create some sparks of joy in this experimental and experiential session. Sure thing, sure thing. Uh, thank you for that introduction. Um, um, I, I, I'm now listening to it and I think it sounds good actually, it sounds good about me. Um, hi everyone. Um, so we gen so um, no pressure, but it's on you to make me feel safe in this session. Uh, so I hope you do a great job <laughs> as much as I'm trying to do a great job um, in sharing something I figured for, my, figured for myself, right? So um, I might struggle to breathe in places. I might uh, make some mistakes, but I'm, I'm giving myself permission uh, to do that today to see if, you know, if I can learn something new. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Um, so I now will talk about this framework I created. I think it, I've read, so I've created this framework for myself to see, you know, what, what sparks joy for me in in my day-to-day -day life, you know, because there's, there's a lot going on. Uh, last year, this year, I'm starting this year, I think it's been better, but I think there's a lot going on. So there's still a lot in the baggage. So I kind of retrospect, introspected to understand, you know, okay, what sparks joy for me? Is it walking, running, you know, do, what, you know? So I created this, I love these two by two matrix, you know, they're easy, they fit well, you know? So I, I created this two by two matrix, which I want to share with you today. Um, where I want you to reflect on all that you do <clears throat> in a day, in a week, or maybe a smaller time period, right? So just don't look too much back, but, you know, maybe max a month, look back at and reflect, what is that I do? Uh, what is that I, I, I have to do, I love to do? And what is that I, you know, I, I have to do, which is time bound, what is that I love to do, which is not time bound? So you'll see that in the in the in the framework we created. There's a mirror board we have set up for it, 
there are a bunch of giphys there. I hope you're not distracted with it. If if you don't like it, you can pause it as well. I tried pausing them before the session, but I don't know if it did completely paused everything. So sorry, just one second, Srini. Do you want me to pop up the mirror board right now? Yeah, if you can do that. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we need to move this. Um, okay, okay, here we are, here we are. If you have this open, Srini or Andrea, uh, you need, I think it would be easiest to summon us to you, to the view that you wanna see. So it's bring everyone to me function. Okay, where is that by the way, sorry. It's at the top where you see your, um, avatar in Miro. Your profile. Okay, so, here. Yeah. Top right corner. Top right corner, this one. Top right corner. Top right. I'm 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 actually um this one, this one, this one. I don't have that button. I think you should have it, Srini. I have my name uh, and there's number four and there are a couple of people yeah. here. This one? Yeah. It only works if you have it open in another page. It doesn't work through the API in butter. If not for everyone else in the call, we can just, if you click on Srini's icon, his picture, tiny picture in the mirror board on top, we follow his view. Oh. So we can also follow you since this we're a smaller group. Here you go. I don't know about a tool I've been using for a while now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, but Learning something every day. Yeah, live and learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope you guys can uh, follow me now, like um, uh, Anne Maria said. But this is the mirror board I created. This is an example board, for example. For example, um, here. Uh, so here you have it's a two by two matrix. So if you see here, um, let me start with the bottom left corner, uh, for example, right? Have to and time bond. These are the things that we have to do for sustenance, right? You know, you have these are the things that you do every day you have to do it, it could be work commitments family commitments anything that you have to do and on top of it on the on the top left corner is what you have to do but 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 there's no time restriction for it for example for me it's like planning vacation i keep thinking about it i need to plan vacation but there's something which is kind of holding me back but i don't know what it is exactly but i keep thinking about it right and Next to it is a quadrant of love, and which is which is what we want to focus today. Is it's not time bound, but you love to do it, right? Uh, this is this is uh, for me is going for a walk, going for a run, you know, meditation, or sometimes cooking. Like I'll, this is what I I initiate myself. These are the things that there's no external pressure. Um, uh, I don't have too many big expectations from it, right? And I'm not expecting a you know a lot to happen. And I'm, I I just I just I just go in there and just have fun, right? And and the and the bottom one is uh, you love to, but it is time bound, right? These these are the things that you like a one on one conversation with someone, but you have like you know it's thirty minutes. You, you can't. Uh, you have a certain time limitation for it. For me, it is a is a, preparing dinner. You know, I love to, but it has to be done by a certain time, sort of the thing, right? So that that is that is the thing. Um, I hope it is simple. Uh, I, I think I would like to take questions if you have any um, now. I think it's clear, Shrini. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool then. So I think uh, this is the example board. Like I said, I think if you so we've created twelve boards roughly, uh, Andrea. I think, um, and if you if. I think you'll be able to follow me now. So if you see here, yeah, if you just zoom out, you can see all the boards. I think. Simply. Yeah. Oh, zoom out. Yeah. Uh, so there, there, are, there are many boards. I think I would like you to choose a board for yourself. And you know, there's a name, there's a name sticky here on the on the top uh, left corner. I would like you to write your name and use that board. I think in the next. Uh, uh, um, I think the, I took too much time. I think the next six minutes, if possible. I would like you to, uh, you know, reflect in a day, uh, a day or a, a typical day or a week or a month, and write down stuff uh, that uh, that fits in those quadrants, right? And once you're done with that, um, if you're following me, once you're done with that activity, I would like you to zoom in 
on the top right corner which is which is where Mary Kondo is right that which sparks joy on this quadrant and write down visually indicate what is that you like to do today so let's say there are five things you write you know you figured you, the framework revealed for you you put it there and i want you to point at one or two things that you th you thought that oh this is nice and i want to do it today cool yeah everyone okay with that everyone following me yep cool thing all right we got um less than six minutes but let's see how, how far we get yeah so let's, let's say go for it. five minutes and yeah feel free to adjust based on that cool and i'll start some cool music on the background um by the way the volume for the music that you're going to be to hear can be controlled locally on your computer there's a pop-up yeah. menu at the bottom of your screen just hover your mouse over there to edit as necessary I, I hope I hope everyone had a, a, gave it a go. So let's see what came out, right? I think that's the next segment right now. So what we would now like to do is to split you into pairs, where we would like you to share <clears throat> with your partner, you know, what the framework revealed for you, and you know, we also want to, you know, also listen to your partner's story, right? And see, you know, if you can really start, you know, see the when they're telling you what they love to do with their time, right? You know, and and kind of take you through the this this this, this little exercise they have done for themselves. Okay, so uh, we would now like to split you into groups. Is that okay? Yeah, Shrini, a uh, quick thing. I, I just have nine or oh, eight minutes. I have another meeting to go to, unfortunately. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and make the best of it. Cool, cool. All right, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll click start now. Cool. Hello. I think some of us are trying, we are stuck in a different verse actually. Some of us are trying to get to the main room. Oh, there. That's very bad, right? That's true. That's true. Oh, hi. Hey. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, how was it? Did, did you? I, I I heard some of the conversations, you know. Um, I, I I was just stuck there for a second. I was listening to them, then I then I then I got out. But it was good. It was it really joy. <laughs> yeah. It, it sparked joy. <laughs> you, so I I really like it. So uh, I think uh, the next segments really that I, I we would like to hear your key takeaways um, as as to. You know what the framework revealed for you and is there one thing that you really want to do it today you know uh, that 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 you think that okay this this there's something i want to do so uh, the floor is open for you guys to share your uh, key takeaways so that i can learn you know that it worked or not worked i forgot that you have the facilitator with you and then you could have hear us in Potter. <laughs> when I was in the breakout room, I forgot about it Not completely <laughs> of that, of that aspect. I, I, the, the purpose of using that option for myself was to see if, if you got, you know, if there's a problem, right. If you yeah. needed help or something, uh, I was there and, and then I had to get out. I was reminded that no, 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 you had to get out, get out. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. I mean, I, I do that myself as well. So sneaky, <laughs> listen to people in the break. Yeah. Um, for me, I guess it was um, that was what we were discussing with um, Aurelia, 
I think it was Aurelius. Uh, Aurelius, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he had to leave because he has a meeting, but we kind of like share the things and then realize that um, you, basically what I'm kind of getting out from is that why don't, why I don't make the non-time bound things time bound so that I don't like it's easier to we, it's something that we always talk about it's, I think like especially with Anna Maria or like others um all the time so it was like if I like crafting why don't why don't I don't make it you know a time-bound thing so that it's nice. Nice. easier to do it and then add add some sparks of joy in my daily routine so so cool so cool we had exact the same, exactly the same, the same. I mean, you were probably in our room and we didn't notice. Um, it's really because in the, in the beginning I was like, oh, how happy I am that it's not time bound because, you know, I can do it anywhere, anytime, da, da, da. And then when we spoke, Anna Maria and I, I thought, that's actually a downside that I <laughs> that it's not time bound because it leaves it so open in the, am I doing it? Am I not doing it? Maybe I'm not prioritizing it enough, etc. So, yeah, exactly, exactly like that. Nice. Let me do. Let me can do something anytime, anywhere. It's it becomes like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not at all kind of. Thing. So, so just want to ask: Is there one thing that you thought, okay, oh, this is strange that this came out of my head now. It surfaced, and you thought that okay, I should do it. I I should do. I should I should just do it. You know, randomly, just do it. You know, there's. No one's stopping me. No one's looking at me. I just, this is just for me. You know, is there one thing that one of you guys could share? I mean, just a tip. Susan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm maybe just sharing that I, I'm an early bird and I like the early morning hours and I usually, um, or I used to get up at five o'clock to have kind of that full hour from five to six, just for myself, because I like it when the world is still asleep. And I haven't done it in the past year um, due to just going to bed too late and um, not being energetic enough to get up. Um, and as when I was writing it in uh, kind of, oh, this is really time bound because it's from five to six. Um, I thought, gosh, I'm really missing it. So mm -hmm. definitely going to work on that to make it happen. So that was very, I think, very specific. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. For, for me, something that I didn't expect to pop and it, came was that dancing thing i'm not a good dancer i also i'm not particularly i like music but i'm not that type of person that has to listen to music all the time mm -hmm. i actually do not i very rarely listen to music when i work i like it, there's there's nothing that would have prompted me to put that down however it came to my mind that the the very few times that i do take time to just dance at home you know with with a song even if it's just the, those three minutes of that song it sparks joy and it just, it energizes, right? So nice. we're sharing with Suzanne that, oh, why don't I do more of that in between meetings, for example, and uh, just two, three times a day stand up if, if I have those three minutes and pop a song and just move my body to get more creative and to get the blood flowing and the brain being oxygenated. So that was, that was a surprise for me. I don't, yeah. So cool. So expect a dance after this. Uh, first lunch and then dance or obviously dancing while eating <laughs> nice nice and actually for you is there something that you would like to call out mm, i'm not sure <laughs> it is it's 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 because it's a bit more complicated for me that because that was something i'm kind of was working on about like kind of being a bit over controlled with my calendar all the time. So I'm trying to kind of leave it, but also, you know, here, I feel like I need to put some more fun things in there as well. So I'm kind of in between, should I deal with it or should I just leave it, leave it out of control? Kind of, a, it's a bit of a personal state. Nice. Nice. So I, I, I think looking at time, do I have one more minute, um, Andrea? Hi, you have until the hour, so feel free yeah, to cool. either prompt people to discuss their insights or move to the um, next part. So I think I'll, I'll take this then. Uh, so in the framework, you're in the bottom left corner, you have this block, the have to block, where I have to do laundry, I have to do grocery, I have to go to work, I have to drive to work, etc., etc. Right? 
are those things are there any things that you saw there hey is there something that i could make do something to this that sparks joy so that this activity becomes more enjoyable you know uh, can i listen to music while doing my uh, while doing the vacuum cleaning the house can i listen to the music put some groove on and then just do it anyways you know sort of a thing uh, because i i was i was trying to when i created the framework that came out to me it's like but these are things we have to do for sustenance you know or whatever right so how can i make this a little more fun for myself you know so that i can say yeah this this is fun this is fun like for example what came out to me is what can make my work more interesting is these one on one conversations i have with people where we connect where we talk about uh, a lot of gooey stuff you know a lot of uh, stuff where we are where we are honest to each other and kind of feels very good when i have these conversations and have more of these those than my scrum mastery stuff these days and i kind of like it uh, are those are there any things like that you thought that okay maybe i i could put do something put some magic spice in there and it moves to the top uh, the top right corner anything for anyone please feel free to share maybe i can share to be honest um i've not um dedicated much thought to the left hand side i really kind of just focused on the laugh um bound and uh, time bound and not time bound so um so i, I can't give much as it's kind of a have to um but i know what what you mean and i think it's a valid so what i sometimes like to do but i put it on the on the a lot i like or a love but that's probably something that could also go kind of i i have to cook dinner for example so how can i make it more enjoyable is because i like to dance and sometimes and i don't don't share that with is this being recorded don't share it with anyone <laughs> <laughs> anyway i'm sharing it anyway sometimes i um i i mock up kind of a, a quiz show you know kind of hey and here we like kind of like a cooking show and this <laughs> is just you know this is just so much fun me myself and i just having fun in the kitchen and i think that's that just uh, reminded me of kind of um i should do that um, makes two of more. us makes two of us i should connect with you makes two of us nice so nice. there you go now now the world knows it <laughs> oh cool 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 anyone uh i think uh, i'm being prompted at the time but anyone anything yeah super fast for me, it's also cooking. I don't like cooking at all, uh, which is very unfortunate <laughs> because my boyfriend also doesn't like it. So, ah. uh, but <laughs> I make it more enjoyable by listening to podcasts or watching a series that I like. And I, I notice that I like to cook when there are friends, when there's a bigger group. Uh, I, now, I wouldn't want to have friends every evening visiting, but that's kind of maybe, you know, every now and, and that I don't mind kind of taking care of them and pumping them and so on. But just for me and my boyfriend, I'm like, uh, this thing again, what do we eat? The same question every day. Uh, so yeah. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I haven't one. tried yeah. the cooking show though, the mock, mocking a cooking show. So I'll do that, Suzanne. Maybe, maybe that's the missing link. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Nice. Yeah. All right, anyone else? Uh, um... Before we move on to the next segment? I feel like I don't want to be the joy killer of, of this kind of a topic, but like I'm in between of accepting some things are, you know, not so fun, but then we have to, to do it. Of course, if there's a chance of making it then more fun, why not? But like, you don't yeah. kind of have to feel like everything. So I'm in between of these thoughts. I also agree that I, I kind of do similar things like, try to listen to music or a podcast for whenever I don't want to do like a chore, like a house chore or something so that it's just it, at least the time goes a bit faster. But like, sometimes I also question of that. Do I have to like, or maybe it's okay to get bored sometimes. Yeah, yeah, totally. Agree. Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, just another thought here, Srini, if I may. Um, <laughs> to me, what really helps me push through that is uh, the focus on the outcomes, not not on the process, not really focusing on, oh, I have another dish to wash or I have another room to vacuum. So just focus on, on, on the final outcome. And, and uh, the, the nice feeling out of it, you know, when you have a house clean or you have a meal to eat and you're not starving. So that's one thing for me. And the other one is another shift in perspective in the sense that not everything needs to be super enjoyable, right? So some things are just, you know, normal and regular and that's fine as well. 
Yeah, I mean, each to their own, right? So I need I need something to, let, to blow the steam off end of the day, right? And sometimes when I'm not myself, when I'm not enjoying the thing, for me, uh, people instantly notice that, Srini, um, you're not yourself today, so what's up? You know, what's happening? So I always try to put spices, um, spice it up a little bit, you know, just do something to wing it, you know, just do something uh, that I bring myself into that. And otherwise, sometimes I'm like, I'm making a PowerPoint visit and I'm like, oh, I have to throw in a gift there, you know, just to give it, give it, give it, give it, give it something, right? Stuff like that. But I agree. I totally respect that. Totally respect that. Cool. So I think uh, we're on to the last part of the session now. It's the feedback time. Yeah. Uh, uh, we've created a, oh yeah, go ahead. Just, just one, one quick observation from my side, Srini, because this is such a small group and we're in a group here. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, super open about this. Maybe just we can share the feedback here with, instead yeah. of just writing it up in, in the Miro board, just take turns and uh, yeah, share some insights on how the session was for you. Um, any tips or you know feedback for for, for our host and for for us as uh, a sandbox and as a nudge. thank you thank you Andrea I love that nudge you know it's like this is what happens when you... <laughs> it's, what happens. it's a learning uh, yeah please uh, um, um, I I really like to get some honest and kind feedback so that I can use that and I can take it as a present with me um, so please uh, feel free to share feedback um, I'm open. <laughs> maybe maybe let me start because I also need to drop out uh, in a few minutes to to um, get started on my other um, workshop. Um, I really like, I mean, sparking joy is just, I think, a topic that we should not underestimate. I liked um, uh, kind of the, the idea, though, still about, because I'm also a big fan of boredom and what comes out as creative part of boredom. So I kind of know where, where X is coming. Esha, Esha, sorry. And Asher is coming from. Um, um, and I think that would have been also a great discussion to have. Um, what I like about the framework um, is really kind of the rethink yourself and take ownership of the things that you re really want to do. And I think that next step, okay, now, you know, what is it that you can take out of each quadrant maybe for the next one day or so so kind of make it bring it even more into an accountability for myself so if this all sparks joy or maybe this is something you have to do but how can you like your question how can you bring it maybe to a bit more joy or something i think that would have helped me to move the needle even further i think nice, nice. but yeah I, I like the framework and i'm i'm happy to kind of adopt that for myself over the next few few days to That's see so where cool. things fall in thank you so okay. much thank you so much for the feedback Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Hey, Jenna, I'm, I mean, I agree with most points. Uh, so I'm not going to repeat most of them. Definitely, it, it kind of gave me a, like, it, it kind of seeded some ideas in my brain so that I can look at my, you know, to-do list calendar, daily schedule, et cetera, differently. Um, at the beginning, I was a bit confused about how to define something is time bound and not time bound so i kind of needed to go and sneak out other people's boards to understand what kind of like um, examples are time bound or not so maybe that was kind of like only thing that i struggled with during the um exercise other than that i think yeah, it was nice and yeah I, and i love that kind of you haven't um for example, I assume that you will have some kind of in realization. I assume that after we do the work, uh, you kind of let us talk about one aspect of it, but it, instead of it, you just left it really open. So that kind of popped out different ideas. I, I like that aspect of it. Cool. Instead Thank of leading us to one kind of thought. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm learning. Thank you. Thank you for that. Cheers. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Uh, well done, Shirini, first of all, with all your nerves and butterflies and, and everything that comes with facilitating, right? And trying something new that always that's always a, a big sign of bravery. So kudos to you. Yeah. Um, I love the framework. It was it was easy to understand for me. Uh, as we were feeling that out and also afterwards, as we went into the breakout rooms, I thought, oh, why did we do the part that we don't like? 
like why did we that why did we spend time to reflect on those things if 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 it's about the joy and so on and that's the conversation that we had but then i loved when we came back that you took us there and you said okay now look at those things is there anything you might tweak to make them more enjoyable and move them to the other quadrant I really like that challenge I also loved the conversation that came from H of the from H like do we have to so I loved the uh, and a bit as Susanna said mm, I love I generally love contradictions in workshops it's where my attention's captured I'm like whoa what do you mean like we're challenging something we're changing something it's like unexpected Suzanne good luck with yours thank Go you party. sorry to have to leave you Yay. Sorry. have a nice thank day you. Thanks for joining. Thanks. same to you bye-bye bye. Bye. And uh, I like that. Uh, this, I, I thought the, the flow was really nice. The conversation was really nice. I wonder, and maybe this is variations, I wonder what would happen and if there would be a change, maybe particularly in energy, if we would only use images in Miro. So if instead of using sticky notes of, if my thing was dancing, I would like look for an image and put yeah. it there like just like a vision more like visually if that would change anything um I love the idea actually i love the idea i, I might actually try it yeah <laughs> because i i can try this for my kids at home uh yeah. because uh, i have a 10 year old who behaves like he's 18 so i, I might ask him you know? <laughs> <laughs> so i i was left with that and then if i think of sparking joy maybe i would have and again this is just a i don't know so Maybe this feedback won't be very helpful, but I wished that this beginning of the session would have been, I, I associate joy with surprise or like an element was like, oh, this was unexpected or this is surprising or something. So now we're gearing up to talk about joy. So maybe thinking of so either an icebreaker or kind of like a hot start. Uh. I do not have an example right now, but how do we set the mood for that wonder, like the opening up or, oh, we're wondering here, it's about joy and we can even, tap into that. Maybe yeah. even discussing a bit like, what is joy? How mm. it feels like, mm. maybe before, maybe before trying to find <gasps> out like what brings joy instead of like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how we define it in a way yes this one yes 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 okay so this was planned but we didn't do it okay yeah we did so, something, something around like those that. lines here Anna Maria. Yeah. yeah but i also like what i just said like what is joy but also i think if instead of asking what is joy it could be uh what does do joy taste like what color does joy have wow um yeah. how does joy sound like mm -hmm something like that for the beginning because it's like it different things well what's an image you associate with joy mm -hmm. that as a hot start would have probably been more mm -hmm. because you're, ta you're you're tapping into the feelings and then when we go to the mirror board to actually find out examples we can go and be like when was the time i felt this last oh yes. when i was dancing when i'm cooking when i'm with friends when i'm in nature when so, i do whatever yeah. so that's that's uh because because words like we he, at, like here in this room we all mm. come from like different languages different cultures mm. so like the english for joy doesn't reflect the same thing for all of us so like having yes. the time to kind of think about what does it mean for me is like a good one to start with uh, i, love I it. like that yeah we we found that icebreaker question and we thought you know that's how we will make people curious you know yeah then look inside a little bit what would that one extra hour in a day do for you and mm. then i thought and i thought people would say oh i would like to sleep an extra hour or cook something do something mm. and then the, i thought that would be a nice segue into what sparks it but mm. <laughs> yeah i had to learn i had to learn this you know stick but to that Right. <laughs> but that's what this is that's what this is all about and also maybe this is pro this probably comes a bit of a, as a more rather personal to you as a facilitator or or how you come across then then to the methodology of the tool uh, um and this was given to me as an advice as well during from different people that had more experience than myself i had this tendency as well when especially when i don't know things to to be to 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 say Oh, I don't know how to do this, or 
you know, I'm nervous or let's see what comes out or I prepared something, but maybe let's see if you guys like or something like that. And I was giving the advice to to avoid that. Yeah. And yeah. OK. And even say this session is an experiment, which is what it is. We know that this is this is a stand up. This session is an experiment. So we're leaving.